Assalamualaikum dan juga salam sejahtera Hai, kembali lagi ke Zaf Vlog So, hari ni Zaf dijemput oleh Disney Plus Hotstar Malaysia untuk pergi melawat okay, Wow Animation Studio So, jom kita pergi, let's go uh, Kenalkan, Belen kat belakang tu, dia pegang kamera Hai Let's go Let's go Salawan Ha? Ah, pasal jenis siwa Ini balance, tolong aku, ini Okay Subscribe Subscribe Thanks Ini dia 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 Ini dia
So it was that same video. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> it was that same video, that very video that, that I was uh, sending around after we completed it. I sent around to, to many uh, broadcasters and, and, and uh, potential investors alike. Um, so it was that same video also that, that I sent to uh, back then was not yet that to Ahmad Zamoma, right? And it took him over two weeks to actually read my message and then finally uh, one uh, good day after past midnight I, I received a message where he actually replied and said looks good what do you plan to do with it right and the rest was history we, we got to talking with Primeworks uh, to to uh, you know uh, co-produce Agent Ali together um, it was like I said initially it was meant to be a movie project but knowing uh, Primeworks and you know their, their angles on TV3 so um, we discussed and felt that the strategy would be better if we proceed with, with the first uh, with the TV series first, right? Uh, and then we got uh, MTech on board to, to help finance the project. And just like that, uh, we went ahead with the journey of creating Agent Ali. Of course, like any other animation production, it took uh, a ridiculous amount of you know sleeping in the studio, uh, sacrificing time with your family and rushing towards the, the deadline, right? Uh, but all, uh, you know, after all the dust has settled, uh, Agent Ali finally aired uh, on TV back in uh, 2016, the first episode. Missy Bermula with season one. Episode one was Ali uh, getting his hands on Iris. That went on all the way, uh, you know, uh, making quite the stir on TV. Uh, we went on to produce second season right after. Um, and with over two million viewers weekly, Agent Ali went ahead and become uh, the number one kids content across all TV. It was shown in, in over 50 countries uh, globally. We had some consumer products out. We had uh, mobile games out for Agent Ali. We won some awards, and we also had Agent Ali playing, right, <laughs> with uh, Asia. So uh, it was only logical with, with that kind of uh, success with the TV series that we went uh, and, and, you know, uh, finally make our movie that we wanted to make in the first place. So, Jaya, I was new.
So in case you haven't already heard, uh, the movie went on and made like 30 million on, uh, on the box office. Uh, became the highest grossing local film in 2019, local, number one local animated film and third highest grossing uh, local film of all time. Um, all this would not have been possible, of course I would have to credit this to my uh, amazing talented team of players. Um, uh, I, I think part of the reason you guys are here today is to, to get a glimpse of, of how uh, you know, we actually make this this show, uh, how we make it generally. Um, we pride ourselves in actually producing everything on our own, uh, from script to screen. Everything is done here, right? Well, um, that is, I guess, true for the first two seasons and the movie, because now uh, a lot of our operation is also from uh, the artist's home, right? So we, we do a lot of hybrid working, but today we managed to, to uh, grab some of our staff to, to come over and share with you guys uh, what we can do. So uh, I'll be taking you guys for, for a little tour afterwards. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it's uh, things that were, were, you know, went on a, on a high note with the movie, but of course we all know the story. Uh, COVID happened. We wanted to go ahead and make the second movie, had to dial it back a bit on that. Um, uh, luckily, right, uh, we, we have a uh, Disney Plus Hotstar coming to Malaysia and they wanted to collaborate uh, to co-produce uh, the new season of Agent Ali. So today, right now, what I'll be showing you guys is the exclusive first look. Uh, not yet released, never before anyone seen. <laughs> uh, our promo for, for season 3. <laughs> So yeah, the season three takes place where you know uh, Ali is invited back to the uh, sorry is invited with with, with uh, to reunite with all his uh, academy friends to compete uh, inside the Mata Arena, right? But now being without Iris, we'll see how Ali will need to cope, uh, you know, with his new status quo. And in the meantime, uh, we'll see Rizwan picking up the pieces of you know uh, whatever. Uh, what has happened with Uno, so he'll be continuing the trails from there, and yeah, there are plenty of uh, things that I'm so excited to say, but you know, I don't want to give up any spoilers, so uh, yeah, it's generally season 3. <laughs> Because, okay. you know, uh, in the process of making the animation, we, we start with the ideas, right? Uh, I'm going to need you guys to yeah. lower your camera for a second okay. because this is uh, where the magic happens or how we're working on. So from here, we're going to move on to the remainder of the studio. space because when you come into the, the main door you wouldn't expect to see the studio is actually uh, we we acquired uh, we, we rented three units of the uh, shop and we actually broke the, the wall down just so that we can we can we can have this uh, let's say space where an open space for, for the teams to be together uh, just to to let's say um, foster that that uh, collaboration environment um, and makes it easy, like you know, you don't have to actually make appointments to see other teams uh, to, to communicate with them. Um, it is arranged in a way that, well, it was arranged in a way, because <laughs> not everyone said, but it was arranged in a way that you know, we, we start the process from here and then move down uh, the, as the pipeline goes. So we have the writers on this side, uh, on this island, and we have our, our concept at this. Uh, and then the storyboard artists were here, but right now they're at home. And then we have uh, the, the people who, who do uh, 
the assets is from the concept they do all the models and things like that and then pass it on to the animation team and then to lighting and comments so forth so we have a few people some of the artists here so uh, you know uh, probably not going to get the entire details of how we do but you guys can can uh, come and have a look at the stuff that, that is in the works right now uh, so with, with the okay so uh is eva eva say hello <laughs> so, Eva is one of the senior uh, concept artists. Uh, as you can see, she's uh, working on the uh, expression design for this character, um, which is obviously the new character that we'll be seeing in, in season three. Um, so yeah, inside the concept in exploration, of course, we we have many steps. We would start by you know exploring the, the character. Uh, silhouette for the design, uh, the colors, the different different looks, um, but the expression here is is more you know it's like once we decided on the design, we now look into how to to uh, you know have the the uh, expression study so that it's it's uh, it will be used by the animators as as their reference uh, how the character is supposed to to act and look. You guys can ask her if you have any. She's the expert on, on design. <laughs> if no questions, then we can move on to the next one. Um, we have Fuad over here. Fuad is also actually one of the founding members of WOW, uh, my studio partner. Hi, Fuad. Fuad is working on uh, promo, material. promo material. So this uh, video is actually uh, going to be. Uh, out at Pavilion, you guys know that that corner where we have not previews, okay? Are we allowed to preview? No, the play blast. No? Uh, show the play blast. So, right. to promo season 3 ni? Season 3, yeah. So mm. it, it will be out at the 3D uh, billboard thing. Um, as you can see, it's still very grey. We are not yet yeah. set for colouring render semua lah. Ini semua but, uh, dah siap animate. I think one is working on the logo and like that. Here we have Ruben. Ruben is our trusted hey, editor. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Basically, you know, after everything's done, he's the person who, who put all the material together. Make sure it's uh, good enough. For, for the broadcasters or the yeah, uh, cinema. cinema, yeah, for everything like for for YouTube. So uh, if there's a problem, they will have to send it back, and then Ruben is gonna help to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Often times also over the weekend. So right now, Ruben is working on the trailer, wrapping the trailer, right, right, wrapping up, finalizing the the trailer yeah. materials uh, to be exported and, and sent out. I think it's the same trailer that we viewed, we we viewed just now, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, next come. Uh, can meet Zali. Zali, say hi. <laughs> Zali is one of the earlier members of the studio as well. He is uh, our technical director. Um, just a quick trivia. His name is also Ghazali, whose name yang kita actually curi to make Ali punya uh, father's name. Oh. Ali Ghazali, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, currently is working on on some effects for. Listen to see Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, they tak boleh zoom out. Kalau they zoom out, nanti jadi spoiler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in one of the episodes, basically, you know, something something is he's, he's working on the effects uh, for for the uh, for the visuals lah. Right, uh, so uh, as you can see, like uh, you know, some of the stuff that we animate uh, before, like for example, the the yo yo earlier, you see everything is just a mock effect, right? So we actually have effects artists who will uh, work on finalizing that effects. Sorry, uh, 
Texture actually asset artist. Uh, oh. People like Shell oh. uh, is an asset artist, right? Uh, they they do the modeling, texturing, rigging, uh, effects. I think is more specific. Um, they deal with with the characters' hair, cloth. Uh, oh. For this one, I think smoke is it. So mm. they they work on the smoke, on on fire, and things like that. Uh, last time back when we first started, a lot of our effects were just. Uh, uh, pasted on, like we call it 2D effects. Uh, we we did it in in uh, After Effects, right? But these days, uh, to to you know make better quality effects, we actually uh, would would do it in tr actual 3D and then composite with the rest of the layers later. Yeah. So we have uh, Zadi to thank for for the beautiful effects we have in Asian Ali. Awesome. Uh, Real is also a part of his team members, so they run the numbers. They they have more members back at home, right? But yeah, the two of them are the ones here. Right? <laughs> here we actually have uh, some of the animators. Zim <laughs> is actually kita orang punya intern animation. <laughs> right? oh, uh, most of our animators are working from home. He don't get to work from home because nanti tak ada orang nak ajar. Alright? So he has to be here. Uh, to to you know for, for some of the seniors to supervise, uh, I think animation is is uh, uh, pretty straightforward in in what they do right. Basically, they need to move and and act out the character. So I always believe that uh, the however um, how do you say if if we watch a, a a film or anything on TV, it's it's the actors. Uh, that would actually bring life to, to the characters and things like that. Um, in animation, is the animators are the ones mm. who does that. So uh, you can look at them as you know actually very talented actors, but don't actually show their face on screen. <laughs> <laughs> They're acting through the, the, the puppets that, that are created. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for most of them, uh, I think uh, except for very few young memang so great at imagining they they don't need to do acting but for most of them they actually will you know after being briefed about uh, what the the shot is going to be about what the scene is going to be they would actually uh, listen to the to the audio track the voice track and then act it out record themselves and then use it as as reference uh, for them to animate right so yeah it's 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 a lot of uh, effort and hard work <laughs> right um Next, we have Django. But Django, that's what can I think? All right, uh, Django. Currently, he's an animator, but right now he's he's uh, helping out with uh, compositing. Um, so it, it, what you're seeing now is him actually comping in 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 After Effects. This is also uh, for season three. I think cannot show too much. You got uh, this one. Uh, all the awesome awesome spoiler material uh, yeah ni ada playback yang keluar the the mic tak ada tadi ada okey nampak sikit ada kena load so basically what we do in com is is uh, once the animate we send to the lighting artist they will put uh, the lights kan it, uh, it's actually very close to to um, real production where you need to light everything, right? Uh, you know, in, in production, if you just uh, uh, ambit natural lighting, it's not always uh, good. Lah. So, um, in 3D, it's the same thing. In fact, if you don't put any natural lighting, there'll be dark. Lah. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, after they, they light uh, all the images, they have to send to render. And then these guys will actually composite all the layers because when we render, we usually try to render them by passes. Means we don't put all the characters' uh, backgrounds together because if uh, it's a bit risky, if we just render everything together. Okay. So kita will separate, 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 and then uh, send to compositing. And this is where they actually have more control on how to uh, color correct and color grade the the final image. Double level back. So this is what you're seeing now is actually you know trying to render the preview. So 
you can see the, the, the images. This is basically you know what has been compiled together with the effects layer and everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna need you guys to forget what you've seen, <laughs> right? it, just so that, that you know you can enjoy the story without any you know assumption. With. So I'm sure you've heard of Azri Yunus, right? So come in here and you can meet him, the man himself. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Sorry. 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 Hello. 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 This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> So for the demo, I'm going to introduce. Uh, come, Shafiq. Can you ask me? So these are the voices, the the main voices. Ida is the voice for Agent Ali, Agent Ali. <laughs> and Shafiq is the voice for Agent, Agent Baka, <laughs> and a few other uh, Agent dan side characters. Yeah. So, but yeah, um, test. So you guys nak nak. Oh, nak demo sikit Okay, okay, silakan. Oh, that demo dah lah. Dalam recording. Are we doing recording demo or you guys yeah, just... Yeah, recording demo. Ah, okay. Preview dulu lah. Preview, preview sikit dulu. Sorry. Like, why are you down? Kenapa kita kena kisahkan dia kalau ki dia tak kisah korang lain? Cik. <laughs> to play out. <laughs> <laughs> Aku dah tak nak jadi AJ. Hmm. Thank you. Nasi lemak lah. Nasi lemak. Ah. Bang, nasi lemak satu. Nak ayam, tambah telur mata. Pasal tak nak sambal, tukar tubuh ya. Ada, tepoyak udang. Yeay. Tak kecamak lah. Hai, dia. Tunggu! Kamu pencuri ya? Sebab, kamu dah mencuri hati saya. Thank you, thank you. So, you guys can proceed with the... Ah, boleh. Silakan, silakan. Okay, memang nak buat, memang nak buat the recording. Action. Action. Hi, Fadi. Nice to meet you guys. Woi, panjang. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mic ni tinggi sangat. Saya kecil. Oh, jauh. Oh. Okay, one more time, huh? Okay. Okay, ready and go. Saya tak tahu pusingnya lepas ni kena buat apa. Macam mana kalau apa yang saya pilih tu tak membantu langsung? 
Macam mana kalau benda tu buat saya lagi teruk? Macam mana kalau saya silap pilih? Puan Zuka lah! Then we start to work on the music and the sound effect lah okay. So bila semua dah siap, then we put back Macam kita gabungkan So Azri akan tunjuk the, the, the layers of the audio lah So dalam uh, audio ni, dia ada tiga separate content lah So sound effects, voice and also music So kita dah dapat tiga tu and then kita mix uh, proper Supaya ada direction direction audio So this is the um, Contoh dia ni voice um, Ada gesture lah Contoh dia And then second one kita ada uh, sound effects master audio lah. So dapat master audio Jadi kita bagi kat editor So editor akan pastikan The synchronization semua dah Okay Power 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 Thank you thank you very much <laughs> Kagum ni Any questions? to do all of this since season 1 yeah. sorry yeah, upgrade upgrade by season you mean the visual quality yeah, more, uh, by sound or sound the new audio uh daripada season 1 hmm ada ada banyak upgrade ke memang totally the same since the first one yeah um kita ikut storyline tu lah hmm. macam kalau story tu berkembang and then kita kena figure out macam mana nak kembangkan muzik juga hmm. so uh, muzik daripada season 1 tu mungkin agak simple tapi bila dah season 2, season 3 kita nak lebih range dia lagi besar sebab karakter kan banyak hmm. so kita nak identify ataupun nak pastikan setiap karakter tu ada lead motif dia tersendiri hmm. dia dah involve lah I would ah, say because kalau masa first season tu I, I remember we, we really went hard on the EDM punya hmm. punya feel but right now especially after the movie because during the movie tu we we wanted to in a way graduate from the EDM punya punya feel but more to orchestra okay. semua oh. so now continuation daripada situ dia tak boleh patah balik lah dia kena macam I think on visual style pun macam tu juga when we first started uh, season 3 I noticed uh, some of the artists macam uh, uh, confused sikit nak find that footing because you know you you go back to to series mm. production different kind of uh, budget different kind of timeline uh, so we need to to find that that uh, sweet spot benchmark quality tu kat mm. mana kita tak nak go back to the point yang mm. audience tengok macam eh rasa macam drop quality <laughs> lah kan it, so kena cari fine line lah i think not not uh, killing ourselves shooting ourselves in the foot with the quality but at the same time macam still acceptable by the audience yeah Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, kita return to to. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Yeah.
we have Faiz join me for. Okay. Uh, let me also introduce Faiz. He's the the producer for Asian Ali. Also my studio partner. Hi everyone. Hi. How are you guys? Okay, actually, uh, uh, trivia, fun, fun, fun trivia. Uh, uh, Art is also. Tadi I I the introduce to you guys. It's it's one of the studio punya partner. Shafiq, the voice of Baka, is also our voice director. He's also one of the studio partners. We have one more, Nazmi, uh, but uh, I think he's away on on uh, family trip. So. <laughs> decided nak proceed dengan originally uh, movie 2 okay. in fact I, I believe mungkin ada yang notice saya pun dah ada tease dekat, dekat my social media and things like that uh, but of course we had to reconsider ke sebab uh, cinema cinema was heavily impacted kan so okay. macam tak make sense untuk kita orang keluar juga just just because that was the plan so we had to take a step back uh, re-evaluate situation apa semua uh, itulah Alhamdulillah uh, Disney Hotstar uh, came on board, showed the interest and uh, proposed uh, that, that the, we come up with season 3. I think uh, in terms of storytelling, sebenarnya we are okay to to buat season 3 lah. It's just of course, bila asalnya kita nak tulis format lain, cerita lain, now we have to to uh, rewrite a whole bunch of stuff lah. <laughs> so, uh, daripada uh, scratch tu memang memang kena fikirlah kita nak cerita pasal apa how, how do we bridge the first movie to the second movie and how do we make sense of of Ali punya development um, that started in what 2021 lah I think early 2021 we we started uh, writing uh, production actually kicked off in September really. uh, so September so we get the sign in one year and a half to yeah. but we are still ongoing right now um, it's I think tougher uh, I know a lot of people say uh, animation or you know this kind of uh, uh, works can be done um, uh, from home but it's it's uh, I think that it's, it's a very different kind of environment uh, especially uh, for a team that that we rely heavily on their own punya peer to peer collaboration. When everyone's here, you 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 can feed off each other's energy, right? And you can feed off each other's uh, input and feedback. Uh, and it's very direct. We love keep the discuss lah senang kan kalau yeah. office. Tapi bila dekat rumah, dan ada yang kalau office ada yang dekat rumah macam sekarang. It's it's a, a, a different uh, challenge. Less efficient, we feel, and uh, it's. Uh, when you stay work in open space like this, you you also depends a lot on on impromptu conversation, right? Betul, betul. But when you are at home, you have to actually like schedule time. Okay, right? This time kita kena meet. This time kita kena discuss. So it's it's very different. So we are actually working towards hybrid right now, We're trying to get uh, some days where we actually gather the team to to come and and spend more time. It's also to to improve the the chemistry, the the, the dynamic because. Over time tu boleh rasa lah macam You know, it's it, rather than working as a team, everyone's working as, as, as individuals which It took longer is, process ke macam mana? Uh, kalau compare to season 1 and season 2 Longer, longer. definitely longer ha. I think ada part tu challenge dekat nak dapatkan the story mm-hmm. Tapi and sebab kita dah buat season 1, season 2 movie then mm-hmm. Macam anticipation dan macam rasa nak cuba meet expectation tu rasa macam oh. <laughs> yeah that's also I think another yeah. challenge the, the the growing expectation of of uh, Agent Ali punya fan base uh, 
So kita tak nak disappoint our oh, audience yeah. kan yeah. So kita nak apa lagi, apa lagi yang kita boleh start Sorry, dia macam Sometimes benda tu lagi susah lah Kena benda kita start something new And it doesn't help when you have to to brainstorm the story from home lah mm. I yeah. think that uh, at least bila you duduk kat sini, you sangkut Like you, eh, you would have misread shit So during the pandemic, everybody were at home? Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, we've only this year lah, kita orang finish the start uh, yeah. Even now, uh, I I get like two three days a week in in the studio. Yeah. Uh, improving, I would say momentum is improving. But last two years have been have been mm-hmm. very very challenging. Untuk yes. so, I nak missing kan. Betul Untuk musim ketiga ni, I mean inspirasi mana untuk jalan cerita dengan design weaponry dalam tu ni. Mm. Nampak design weapon semua tu ada ala-ala onset like saber sikit dan banyak agak nampak kan orang setawa tu dia semua So dari segi inspirasi story dengan weapon design semua ambil daripada cerita apa yang naik, untuk naikkan semangat untuk right, siapkan right, right. cerita dia I think um, Okay if, if I may share a bit the, the thought process lah eh. mm-hmm. uh, We 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 basically macam tanya uh, Inside the whole team, like what do you guys think season three should be about? Like what should we, what do do you want to see? What do you do you what would you be excited to work on? Lah. So so um, I think uh, a lot of the feedback that we get is is regarding the young agents punya line up, mm-hmm. right? So that is was part of the reason why okay now we we we're bringing back all these characters. Uh, we notice the fans also still not uh, over those characters because. After season 2, everyone was like, okay, you know, like, into the characters, but movie came out, and like, okay, yeah. see, yeah. So everyone was like, why, why so little? So, so yeah, this is also to, to, uh, apa, uh, recuperate lah, on <laughs> benda tu. And then once we, we thought of that setting, now, like, okay, what kind of setting, cerita yang sesuai? So, uh, um, I think, uh, yeah, a few reasons why we chose the arena, but one of it, a uh, big one, is because we are excited on where the game development, the mobile game uh, for Agent Ali punya development is heading. Daripada was a simple game like Emergency, now it becomes like a multiplayer game, and then ada arena. It was actually based off of season two punya training, uh, academy training punya tu, tapi it felt different. It was, it was uh, so. Uh, I felt like you know it, it might be better if we create a new setting yang lagi uh, orang kata apa uh, similar to the game tu satu and then dua is also to grow Agent Ali punya world uh, if you guys know this uh, from the trailer we are introducing four uh, new young agents character that has been trained outside of Cyber Raya so they're running macam international young agent lah uh, so now suddenly we 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 buka this door and uh, to 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 raise questions about okay uh, what else is outside Sabaraya like who who are these people uh, how do they train so uh, it becomes a, a new orang kata apa palette, a new playing ground lah for for the our ideas um, and then of course influence wise I think when we talk about um, competition punya idea ni a lot of, of uh, show under this this kind of nila with a lot of movies i think uh, hunger games uh, we have uh, my hero academia uh, we 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 never actually re- would refer to one source uh, yeah, <coughs> so i think plus in, in in our writing team we have different people who have like different uh, interests <laughs> and different macam like, this this person like this kind of genre this uh, like this kind of show so everyone sort of like just bring together ideas that that we see how as long as it would fit into Agent Ali punya world and Agent Ali punya conflict and struggle so to speak kan uh, as long as it, it can stick through to that it's, it's uh, stuff that we can put in uh, it helps that we also have some new faces in the team uh, the writing team the, the uh, concept punya team that help bring fresh design to to the table lah. From 8 people in the living room, sekarang berapa? Sekarang 90. Eh, 89. 89. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So, mungkin boleh share sikit uh, Adina Lee next movie? Next movie? Hmm. <laughs> I was not prepared for this question. Uh, of course, uh, okay, so if, if I may, um, even from from uh, when we left everyone off the cut, the first movie, I think the big 
thing that we we share at the end too was uh, Satria, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 so second, <laughs> second movie too. Of course, uh, as as it stands now, belum belum. But nanti kan, you guys share cerita tak habis dulu, nanti tukar lah kan? Yeah. Sedang ditulis lah. Sedang ditulis. So bila expect Satria dalam season 3 tak? Um, you get thing all that. I don't want to become Holland. Okay, boleh boleh share sikit kerjasama dengan Disney Hotstar. Hmm. Okay, ada satu orang kata kerjasama yang lebih besar kan platform yang lebih besar untuk agent Ali. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, of course uh, we we it, it helps that we we have a partner like uh, Runworks that is already below platform as uh, Disney Plus or Star uh, Obviously, giants like this would, would have like this kind of competition, and I think from the Punya side, it definitely helped that originally just uh, had a massive success on the silver screen. So, um, of course big name like Disney kan, uh, I think any producers are a little nervous kalau, <laughs> kalau ajak collaborate but so far I think things has been uh, quite smooth yeah, uh, quite smooth I think uh, they, especially on the creative side I'm, I'm uh, personally very particular on, on who I, I get to collaborate with uh, always takut macam if we bring uh, new people akan kacau the creative process uh, but so far has been has been no problem in fact macam a lot, a lot yeah a lot of uh, input that, that uh, help uh, the process um, so i hope you know things will go smoothly sampai habis lah uh, uh, of course kita nervous sikit nak tengok how the the audience punya uh, reception kan uh, last time we we would have the format where it generally keluar episode sikit-sikit not intentionally right but <laughs> but keluar sikit-sikit so we could gauge uh, how to to move uh, forward in the story so but right now yeah we we will be back to back uh, back to back um yeah i i think uh, the details kita I, will be shared more later lah but uh yeah right now the the process we 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 kind of have to anticipate Imagine ourselves lah macam mana agaknya audience akan react Mungkin harapan korang lebih tinggi untuk season 3 ni Expectation pun lebih tinggi Of course <laughs> Lebih nervous lah <laughs> kalau <laughs> Lebih nervous sebab uh, tak tahu apa reaction macam Zaid cakap tadi Sebelum ni kan kita tayang dekat TV Yes betul Satu episode and then kita dapat uh, macam comments and mm-hmm. feedback And then while kita still tengah buat lagi So sekarang ni it's a bit different lah sebab okay. kita so masa tu kita sempat ejak kan bila bila ada feedback dari audience sekarang dah ada season break so masa tu kita sempat oh. nak fix lah macam tak nak kadang orang boleh teka kan sebab cerita kita pasal genre yang <laughs> macam spy eh, sci, sci-fi spy so bila kalau ada orang boleh teka saya rasa macam lah, tak best lah kan so, kita, kita nak twist lagi lah kita nak macam apa yang kita boleh buat audience so, nanti bila tengok ada oh tak sangka lah tak expect that's hmm. apa yang kita cuba nak capai lah. So, kali ni is a bit different lah sebab kita buat dulu kan. So, hopefully boleh meet jugalah kita punya audience expectation. Uh, boleh kongsi budget per episode atau budget keseluruhan season 3? Anggaran? Berapa episode? 13 episode. 13 episode. Boleh tak? Boleh kongsi ke? Dah check and prime words. Initially, actually, we 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 did uh, we did uh, untuk sorry generally. Uh, Ida was memang original member of the team since the first eight. We Ida did much oh, standing twice lah, masa tu kan uh, as as mock up. Maksudnya kita kita just do as as standing. Uh, Initially we wanted to to use um, memang kanak-kanak punya voice, uh, but after the, uh, 
orang kata apa batting through so many uh, back then lah at least i think the challenge was uh, susah nak achieve Come the emotional way. complexity that that we we plan for it generally uh, while the the kids uh, tend to have nicer voice mm-hmm. more natural tapi nak carry that uh, acting nak suruh dia rasa sedih dalam suara itu mm-hmm. very difficult to do so mm-hmm. yeah Tengok macam aku dah tengok banyak lah lah Ida you buat lah <laughs> sampai sekarang ha yeah, sampai sekarang. sekarang Ida sangat experience eh? mm. yeah. yeah. sampai sini tengok ni ada sequence tu kenapa tu <laughs> are we allowed to say yeah. oh okay <laughs> But um, uh, we happy to also share that um, it generally uh, punya release on Disney Plus All Star will be simultaneous in in uh, four countries, which okay. is Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and Singapore. Okay. Sama, same. Serentak. Yes. 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 Starting June berapa tu memang start? The very first game. Okay, lagi dong, kita lagi. Hah? Ke surprise? We will include the information in the press Yeah, definitely. Um, apa, uh, we, of course, for for new voices, it's I feel it's, it's always a challenge, um, and I think it's you see for, for for new characters, we we try to uh, make it in in a way that uh, sort of referring to because inside generally we never explicitly say. Uh, This Malaysia. country is Malaysia, ah, okay. uh, so outside is not necessarily like uh, another country, but we we uh, sort of like define it uh, by reference lah. So yeah, an Indonesian speaking character we're not necessarily saying uh, this character is from Indonesia, right? Uh, but yeah, we we do engage uh, 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 an Indonesian person to be our our dialogue and, and voice consultant on top of already having our own voice coach and things like that um, so yeah it's it's uh, new new areas that that we have to tread uh, of course with with uh, some feedback and guidance from from this new zone well. yeah. right, awesome. uh, could you just talk about since this character has been around for four years and beloved by uh, outside malaysia as mm. well um, could you personally tell me uh, like your own take why You love this character. Agent Ali? Ah. Uh. Uh. Huh. <laughs> Never been asked that question before. <laughs> um, well, uh, I think uh, for me why Ali is so special is is uh, because when when we uh, want to tell his story, like I've always felt like um, I want to, to do Uh, the same thing that that I experienced growing up. Like for example, they they have been characters that I grew up with that I feel uh, very connected with. Like to this day, that when I think about those characters, they become my inspiration, right? So uh, I wanted Ali to be an inspiration to the audience. So when we spoke about like what kind of show we wanted to do, uh, you know, we 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 narrowed down to like okay, it needs to be like the zero to hero underdog story. Um, you know, Ali started off as as this uh, sort of like uh, you know uh, underachieving kid, not good at school, uh, getting bullied and things like that. Um, so he needs to grow out of that, and and his change is is not something instant. We purposely make it so that even though with Iris, like he needs to earn his spot as an agent, like he's not a, a, a you know like a, just one night a, you know change into a hero uh, kind of person um, and it's like you know uh, with, with every season every uh, arc of the story we try to, to throw new challenges to
to him so that he can go. Um, and I think it's also uh, I'm very particular when, when people say like is 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 Ali a, a, a hero? Like is he a superhero? Does he have superpower? Like what's Ali's power? I'm very particular in stating like uh, Ali doesn't have any superpowers, right? Like uh, he's a, he can be a hero, but he draws uh, his strength from from the character and you know the the, the things that he have around him, the gadgets that he use. Uh, and as he go, we we try to to make him. Uh, more independent as a character. So if you ask me like why I love or what I love about this character, I think he stands as, as this symbol that I so badly want to, to be an inspiration for the audience. So yeah, I, I'm not sure if... if, if Have you met like a small kid or somebody say that to you about Ibn Ali? Uh, like what kind of reactions have you gotten from uh, younger well, I, uh, that you remember in your backbone. But I, I don't have anyone coming up to me saying like <laughs> Ali is such an inspiration yet. But I do uh, have like a, a, a um, nephew, right? Who after seeing the movie, like uh, just you know like came to me and hugged me really tight and then like cried. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so, uh, I think it was, you know, that kind of reaction was, was very powerful and um, I think most of the people, I mean, who have seen the movie uh, have, have said that, you know, they, they, they shed a lot of manly tears uh, in the movie. So I, I think uh, while it might not be the same exact thing as being an, an, you know, as, as an inspiration, but I think it did some impact. Yeah, the, 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 it goes to show that the story has been uh, connecting with that with the audience to, to to a certain level that is beyond just entertainment, and I think that that is a big takeaway for us. Uh, with uh, Yuki Hotsa uh, and the shows go going globally, um, how important is it for you to incorporate like Malaysian elements into mm. it? Because uh, the the gadget itself is like very Right. Yeah. Well, and what are the challenges, perhaps? Um, you guys can chime in, but um, for me personally, I feel that the, it's it's always nice to put in something uh, that is of ours, like like you know Malaysian identity is the story. It's always fun and it's always uh, meaningful to do because I strongly believe in creating something that that have. Uh, resounding identity. Uh, in fact, when I watch uh, shows uh, or movies, right, I, I love seeing things that that have that display this kind of identity, right? Uh, like, I think the recent one from Disney is like um, uh, and, and, and Canto, right? Oh. <laughs> it, it was so uh, um, yeah, so rich in, in culture and identity. It's like. Uh, you not only you 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 experience the character, you experience the character's world, right? Um, yeah, it's always something fun to do. Uh, and for me personally, uh, other than the setting, when trying to reach for global audience, I think it's very important to tell uh, a story where your characters have uh, globally relatable conflict, right? Because sometimes uh, uh, it's it's difficult as long as as as. Uh, as the character uh, is relatable, I feel then you, you can be as as local as you want to be. Uh, but if your audience cannot understand why your character is feeling challenged or sad or emotional, then you have lost them. If if you can't make them care about why your character is, is uh, you know trying to to achieve this this goal, then you would have lost them. Yeah. Will there be more new gadgets? Some upgrades. It's it's I think uh, a lot a lot of uh, not not just fans. I think even internally, it's like after two seasons and a movie, a lot of people are like we we need some upgrade to to the <laughs> agents when you get it. So yeah, it's it's I think it, um, throwing those in actually helps uh, keeping keeping it fresh. Uh, so nice to see how how we can you know like go from. One gadget to another, yeah. and then we can expand to merchandise. Hopefully, it's a new <laughs> gadget and new design. Too.
mobile uh, games, yeah. Mobile games. Uh, is there like uh, anything else you want to get into with Asian Army, perhaps? Hmm? <laughs> 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 how, how, how far do you see yourself taking Asian Army in the future, perhaps? Uh, of course, <laughs> if, it's, if we're talking, if we're talking wish list, then, <laughs> then it's, you know, it's uh, everything under the sun, like, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, you, I would want not just mobile games, but actual, like, you know, console games, uh, computer games, um, uh, experience, yeah, ex on-ground experience, like, um, so far we've, we've been doing, like, on-ground activations, uh, back in season two, it was the, uh, Asian Academy, uh, recently we have a, 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 an activation in, in Genting, right? Uh, we actually have the, the arena uh, structure the, 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 uh, in Genting, which we hopefully can, can um, continue. continue throughout the, the season 3 campaign. Uh, but of course, I believe in, in um, bringing that, that experience beyond just the screen. Of course, I love it when, when I get to experience, you know, like things from Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, so of course, uh, if we can bring that for our audience, then it'll be really fun. Like you, is Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, toys and merchandise is important. Like. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I like one more question. Can, 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 can. Pen also can. No worries. <laughs> um, maybe you can talk about. Um, what you like about Agent Adi or what you admire about him since you've done the voice for so many years? <laughs> Ali is actually, I think he's maybe is somewhat similar to myself because uh, I was not a top student when I was uh, younger and uh, I'm clumsy, still clumsy. <laughs> and then uh, Ali is also determined. He, he, yeah, I think it's like he's somewhat like me. So I'm excited when um, there's some kind of similarities, uh, like he lost his mom and I just lost my mom. Oh, so um, I look at Ali at how he handle his emotion and everything mm -hmm. to like push through things like that. So he helped you through a situation yes. as well. <laughs> And perhaps uh, you can mention something about your character, what you like about your character. by this character and uh, I also try to you know, draw some, some of uh, some of my own experience in, in you know in, in the acting uh, uh, in acting up uh, the, the character uh, so yeah I do, do a lot of things actually. Do people recognize you like uh, the, your voice? I mean do they know that you're the No, no <laughs> never <laughs> never so, yeah, when, I, when I do like yeah I'm sorry Agent Baka oh Agent Baka <laughs> if not then they don't know like. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, my so parents um, would be like, look at her, she's the voice of Agent Ali. Then the kid would be like, really lah, makcik. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's always a surprise look lah. Yeah. It's always a surprise look. Oh, selesai sudah lawatan ke Wow Animation Thank you so much Usama and the gang uh, Disney Plus Hotstar Kerana dia jemput tau um, Yeah Tak sabar untuk Agent Ali Sumpah gila babi Kita dapat tengok eksklusif 
Okay. Release Fair siang tadi. <laughs> tak release saja tadi. Macam, oh, bapak. So, thank you. Jumpa lagi. Pada Zaflok yang datang. Bye-bye. Bye.